Number one hit singles in the UK, 1965 and 2015. Eventually, to be the first line of his most famous record, what was written on a sign by the side of the road that inspired Roger Miller while Ashton. King of the Road. No, oh, Dead. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tony. Oh, shit. Tony gets the two points there. Uh, which Tony did have taken? Which Tony was about to make? Tony and Michael. This one. Yeah. Which country is home to Felix Savran de Laet? Tony. Belgium. Oh. Go on, Lost Frequencies. Go on, Lost Frequencies. That helps me a lot. Well, that's the end of this particular quiz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you, are you good here, Michael? Ah, I'm loving it. The letters N, U, J, V are described in semaphore on which classic album? Tell me. Help. Who had 2015 UK number ones in collaboration with both Wiz Khalifa and Megan Tony W? Charlie Poops off. I thought it would be an idea. Never lost a special yet. Which film yielded the Oscar for 2015's best original song? Sam Smith, Tony W. Spectre. Oh, Tony Richardson, piss off and get your train. It's <laughs> 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 just you and me. Very kind of us, very kind of There we go. What was coupled with Day Tripper? Tony W. We can work it out. Despite having no previous experience in the field, who produced all Rolling Stones records from. Tony W, Tony R, only just a third of a second behind, but Tony W, you get the point, so well done. Can you say it? Wow! That is no quizzing. Good answer. Stop me, tell me what it was, please. I'm just going to look at them. Yeah. Who's going to get it? Get it. You don't want to ask it. <laughs> In golf, it's called a gimme. Three inches in the hole. You, you know, you play. Crack on. People got trained to get to the Come on. Okay, Mark, this for you is a horse racing question. Go on. Clive Powell, Tony W. Georgie Finn. Is correct. <laughs> I'm not going to even ask you. Go on. I had my fingers crossed. In 2004, Rolling Stone magazine placed which of its namesake bands records in the second spot on its list of the Ashton. Get off of my crown. No. Mark L. Satisfaction. Satisfaction is correct. Oh, well done Mark L. Who sang with Sam Smith? Tony W. John Legend. He's correct. Oh, yeah. Are you going to tell us on what please? Lay me down. Lay me down is correct. <sighs> on what label were what do you mean? Sorry and love yourself. Mark uh, L. Oh, I was going to say purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to mag you. This is above my head, this one. Tony W. Death Jam. Death Jam, Death Jam is correct. That's better. To me, Mr. Sun Death Jam. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Name the British electronica trio founded in London consisting of fruit. Yes. Years and years. Yay! Give me a round of applause, people, please. I think you're thinking of second place at the moment. Why? Excuse my pronunciation. Meredita in Albanian. Konichawa in Japanese. Ashton. Hello. Yes. And that, that, that. Hit number one for Lionel Richie and Adele. Who was the female singer of the carnival in Tony R? Judith Durrell. Yes. <laughs> Who was the only female to feature on three? Clive? Chess Clean. Yeah. Well done, Clive. I'm Clive. He said that with that one in his lips. Wait to tell your mates at home, Clive, you've got Jess Clean. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a lot. New respect. Uh, which 2015 worldwide smash epitomised the success of music streaming and Simon Cowell's video rendition for Jamaican? Tony W. It's cheerleader. Yeah, but don't sing it to us. No, it's <laughs> no. Okay, no. You can't sing it, it's not a tune. It's a better pleasant vibe, it didn't get played too much. Uh, next one. What song did John Lennon say was about a clean bill of health? Ashton. Tickets arrived. Carried by Hamburg prostitutes in the 1960s, but Paul McCartney said it was about going to the town of the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Who do we believe on that one? Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference between the two. Yeah. Subtle, but nevertheless it's there if you search carefully. Who wrote the birds UK? Tony W by a minute of a second. Yes, absolutely. Do you want to finish off the question while I do this? It's just sounds really What? Who significantly, most significantly, wasn't singing on the song released at the end of July 2015 that broke the record on Spotify for most <laughs> Clive? Beaver. I'm afraid that you lose a point, Clive. Well, sorry, sir. It's <laughs> basically so when you say who wasn't singing on this song. Mark K. Well, yeah. There are a lot of options. You know, there's a lot of options there. Zayn Malik is the correct answer significantly, most significantly. <laughs> if you want, I can cancel that question, Mark P. Uh, well, I should be singing on any of the no, no, it was a, no, it was a One Direction question. No, it's right. Yeah. Misdirection One Direction. Which song composed for the soundtrack to the 2015 film? Tony W. Love Me Like You Do. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> so, to go tell us the rest of the question, will you? You know, we'll in for that shit film about 50, 50 Shades of Grey. Yeah. I critically panned Fifty Shades of Black. I loved it. Funny film. What was Cliff Richards? Cliff Richards, eight. Uh, Ashton. The minute you've gone. <laughs> well, 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 Name Jess Glynn's debut album that, in its deluxe version, featured all her four number one singles to date and launched Don't Be... Don't you believe it? I'll cry if I want to. You are such a good bloody <laughs> player at this. Is it a good album? It is, yeah. I loved Rather Be. It was the best single of the year for me two years ago. Right. Who is the best known? Who is best known for House Every Weekend? Tony W. David Zowie. Yeah, you were complaining about that earlier, weren't you? Yeah, well, a little old swing to it, I heard you. <laughs> who was the wife of Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Trent. Hadley. <laughs> 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 it's Jackie Trent, yes. <sighs> Take no proof. It's you against the world. Which band were formed when Brian Parker... Oh no. You were four plus two. Just give him a little round of applause, please. You've got two teams. We're just discussing this. I didn't believe you. I really didn't believe you uh, with the conviction that it's, you... We looked at that because it was the ads and the lead singers. Yeah. Which yeah. English city... Did everyone guess before he buzzes in? You're not going to get necked. It's home to the Moody Blues. <laughs> Don't even answer, please. Who got first, was it? It was Tony W and he was going to say... <laughs> Name any two artists Featured on the 2015 UK number one, turn the music. Ashton. PTP. Two, any two artists. Two, oh. Chris B and Ty Yeah. yeah. Thanks, for, uh, that's Stephen. All right. <laughs> two answers required. How many members were there in the Walker Brothers, and how many? Clive. Two. Uh, next, a. Uh, it's Tony W. I'm um, five. Um, no. All right. Uh, how many members were there? That's minus one for you. Tony. Manchester Ooh. Brothers as well. Yeah, yeah. How many members were there in the Walker Brothers, and how many were related? Oh, and how many were related? Oh, right. Uh, right. We've got Norman. Three members, and none of them were related. Yeah. That's the correct answer. 
Now the Chris, look at that. Boom. What song written by Tom Springfield? I'm the fan of you. You really know how to piss on my stupid stuff. Yeah. That and Not including Ian Stewart. Forget him. Who was the oldest member of the original Tony W? One. How many more questions, Steve? Uh, Twenty-one. <laughs> Give the full name of any, come on Debs, just press, when it, just press on the crucial bit. I'll give you another one to press. Don't let him do it. Give the full name of any two members of Little Mix. <laughs> Tony W. Perry Edwards, J. Thurlow. <laughs> you know Mark, if we get these last 20 questions, we'll give another chance. <laughs> <laughs> Look, which song if he's beating him it's two minutes of written in 1953 by Artie Glenn Tony W it's Elvis um, oh god it's Elvis Dragon the Chapel Dragon the Chapel is correct <laughs> who was the then the then unknown singer of the demo the demo track when Sandy Shaw was originally offered Tony W. Tom Jones. Finish the question, please. It's not unusual. But what for you was score points? You're damn right. <laughs> Happens every day. <laughs> I was turned out by Frankie Vaughan as well. Name two of the three writers credited with You've Lost That. Tony. Phil Spector and Man. Phil yeah, Spector, man. man Enough. Man Vibe. Yeah, man, vile inspector. What surname was shared by brothers in the Kings? Clive! James. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you were a long way behind there, Tony. You were uh, one fiftieth of a second behind. <laughs> what was Justin Bieber's first UK number one? Michael and Ashton together. Go on. Uh, we've got what do you mean over here? What is it? Baby. Baby. What do you mean is the correct answer? Oh, for those 2015. <coughs> Which song first recorded by Rudy Vallee in 1929? It became the best-selling single of 1960. Sing it. He did the original tears. Sing it. No. Just the just the words. Just go. Just the words, please. No. Please don't. Shit. <coughs> 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 yeah. 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 In film, what song repeatedly woke up? <coughs> Mac K. L. K. Me. I know you, babe. Yeah. Oh, well, get oh, yeah. 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 I got you, Ben. Yeah, we're two miles. I got you, Ben. <laughs> <Round up to. laughs> In film, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> right, sorry. That joke's on to be done. Be done. Yeah. Sorry about that. What title has provided number ones more than 60 years apart for Don Cornell and for Go on, pull my hand. No, Cornell. If we do, will it stop you buzzing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't buzz much in the last bloody thing, so I'm not doing that. That's totally won it yet. Which band's first UK number one was their version of Clint Ballard Jr.'s <laughs> Tony? Hollies. This is impossible. It's just. I mean, will you stop it, Michael? <laughs> what was Rachel Platten's? Ashton. Fight song. Shite song. Yes. Co written with Ed Sheeran and Benjamin Levin, which Justin Bieber number one comp 
Tell me the way. I got the wrong one here, but sorry. Huh? Sorry. I'm afraid it wasn't. Mine is 10. You say what do you mean? Ashton. Lose yourself. What did you say? Lose yourself. Yeah. Like, gonna lose yourself in a moment. No. Mark L. What do you mean? No, Norman. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it said we should. I thought it did. You lose. said lose yourself. Oh. Oh. Completely different. Grammy Award winning song. So, Norman. Is, is Chris still up there with you, Norman? Yes, I am. Yeah, hello, Chris. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not looking after that. <laughs> looking after <laughs> What stage name was adopted by Norfolk DJ Bruce Fielder when adapted? Tony W. Sigma. Sigma is correct. <laughs> Okay, no more swearing because a lot of people are going to watch this on YouTube and think, Jesus, this is quite something. We're not going to do those quizzes. Who won the 11th series of The X Factor in 2014? Tony W. Been here now. Seven to go. What was Sandy Shaw famous for not? Ashton! Wear it. Which previous UK number one hit recording artist was a subject of Megan Trainer? Yes. Marvin Gaye. Go on, man! You had to get a pulse in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to get a pulse in there. I think that's where I start really going downhill. Stop the first time when you ask that question, tell me. I Elliot will be proud. Kill me. Which two London butters? Ashton. The machine in Greenwich. It's correct. Can you finish the question while I put your pants on? The NHS choirs. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Is there anybody recognises anything about these questions at all? <laughs> Which UK number one has the refrain, uh, has a refrain with the lyric? I'm so glad that she... Norman. It's Beatles. Um. Dev. I'm alive. Tony W. I feel fine. Yeah, if I don't, you were in third place, I'd be giving them a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? Which, <laughs> which Floridian, born in 1989, had his only 25th... Chris. Bruno Mars. No, his only hit in the UK with his number one, what? Ashton. Jason Derulo? Jason Derulo. Oh. Yes, he is. Ooh. Is that the other people on that drug which you're pregnant? <laughs> question 50. It says 49 here, but it's question 50 here, so. Question 50. How many records topped the UK chart in 1965 and 2015 combined? Chris? 72. No. That be? Uh, 64. Uh, no. Michael? 50. Unlucky. Michael? 69. I said unlucky for 50. Ashton? 48. Unlucky. <laughs> Tony R? 49. Is correct. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so that's it for another session. Well, if these films don't go up, just email me straight away. Uh, brilliant performance from everybody in here. This was the kind of toughest set of questions we've had. Uh, I was kind of swimming and getting pulled away by the riptide and couldn't make it back to shore. We've had some absolutely brilliant plays. Norman here, Tony Richardson, the rookies were brilliant. Jeff, I feel your pain wherever you are. But that we will, you've got to say that we've been like a Wednesday morning bloody handicappers being invited by the last round of the Masters with uh, John Spieth and uh, Smiley, whatever his name was, and then these people just spacking it. It was brilliant. Some really, really good questions set in today. So absolutely superlative answering. Another great session. Let's hope it's a good film. And the next one is in Wales. So, Yaki Dad, all you cheap, shagging, leak eating retards. Come and join me. <laughs> 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 well, the next few call life is good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Come in, come in, come in.